In computing, ANSI escape code is the method of in-band signaling to control formatting, color, and other output options on video text terminals. To encode this formatting information, it embeds certain sequences of bytes into the text, which have to be interpreted specially, not as codes of characters. Although hardware text terminals have become increasingly rare in the 21st century, the relevance of this standard persists because most terminal emulators interpret at least some of the ANSI escape sequences in the output text. One notable exception is the Win32 console component of Microsoft Windows. History Almost all manufacturers of video terminals added vendor-specific escape sequences to do operations such as placing the cursor at arbitrary positions on the screen. As these sequences were all different, elaborate libraries such as TarmCap had to be created so programs could use the same API for all of them. In addition, most designs required sending numbers as the binary values of the characters. For some programming languages and for systems that did not use ASCII internally it was often difficult or impossible to turn a number into the correct character. The first standard for ANSI escape sequences was ECMA-48, adopted in 1976. It was a continuation of a series of character coding standards, the first one being ECMA-6 from 1961, a 7-bit standard from which ASCII originates. ECMA 48 has been updated several times and the current edition is the fifth from 1991. It is also adopted by ISO and IEC as standard ISO IEC 6429. The name ANSI escape sequence dates from 1981 when ANSI adopted ECMA 48 as the standard ANSI X 3.64. The first popular video terminal to support these sequences was the Digital VT100 introduced in 1978, which sparked a variety of clones, among the earliest and most popular of which was the much more affordable Zenith Z19 in 1979. The popularity of these gradually led to more and more software assuming the escape sequences worked, leading to almost all new terminals and emulator programs supporting them. Support. Most terminal emulators running on Unix-like systems interpret ANSI escape sequences. The Linux console also interprets them. Terminal programs for Microsoft Windows designed to show text from an outside source almost always interprets them. Many Unix console applications can generate them. Most of these use curses or their own system to supposedly allow the update of a terminal using something other than ANSI but this is so rarely tested nowadays that they are unlikely to work. Games, shell scripts, and bulletin board systems often use ANSI directly and cannot work on a terminal that does not interpret them. Windows and DOS, MS-DOS 1X did not support the ANSI or any other escape sequences. Only a few control characters were interpreted by the underlying BIOS, making it almost impossible to do any kind of full-screen application. Any display effects had to be done with BIOS calls. DOS 2.0 introduced the ability to add a device driver for the ANSI escape sequences a Euro the de facto standard being ANSI-SIS, but others like ANSI.com, Nancy-SIS and Ansiplus X are used as well. Slowness and the fact that it was not installed by default made software rarely take advantage of it. Instead, Applications continued to directly manipulate the hardware to get the text display needed. ANSICs and similar drivers continued to work in Windows 9X up to Windows ME, and in NT-derived systems for 16-bit legacy programs executing under the NTVDM. The Win32 console does not support ANSI escape sequences at all. Some alternate command processors such as JP Software's TCC and Michael J. Mefford's ANSI.com do interpret ANSI escape sequences printed by programs. Software such as Jason Hood's ANSICon can act as a wrapper around the standard Win32 console and add support for ANSI escape sequences. Software can manipulate the color and cursor position in the command output window with the IOCTL like console API interlaced with the text output. Some software internally interprets ANSI escape sequences in text being printed and translates them to these calls. Amiga OS, 
All versions of Amiga OS on the Amiga computer interpret ANSI code sequences for text output to the screen. The Amiga OS printer driver also interprets ANSI code sequences and translates them into the codes required for the particular printer that is actually attached. Sequence elements, escape sequences start with the character ESC. For two character sequences, the second character is in the range ASCII 64 a Euro 95. However, most of the sequences are more than two characters, and start with the characters ESC and. This sequence is called CSI for Control Sequence Introducer. The final character of these sequences is in the range ASCII 64 a Euro 126. There is a single character CSI as well. The ESC, two character sequence is more often used than the single character alternative. Only the two character sequence is recognized by devices that support just ASCII or devices that support 8 bit bytes, but use the 0x80 or Euro 0x9f control character range for other purposes. On terminals that use UTF 8 encoding, both forms take two bytes, but the ESC, Sequence is clearer. Though some encodings use multiple bytes per character, the following discussion is restricted to ASCII characters, and thus assumes a single byte for each character. Non CSI codes, note, other CO codes besides ESCA Euro commonly BEL, BS, CR, LF, FF, TAB, VT, SO, and CIR Euro may produce similar or identical effects to some control sequences when output. ESCN equals SS2, ESCO equals SS3, select a single character from one of the alternate character sets. ESC equals PM, ESC equals APC, these each take a single string of text, terminated by Saint they are ignored by Xterm. ESCPE equals DCS, device control string, ESC equals OSC, operating system command Euro these are similar to CSI, but not limited to integer arguments. Because they are frequently used, in many cases Bell is an acceptable alternative to Saint e.g., in Xterm, the window title can be set by, OSCO. This is the window title Bell, note, pressing special keys on the keyboard, as well as outputting many Xterm CSI, DCS, or OSC sequences, often produces a CSI, DCS, or OSC sequence. CSI codes, the general structure of most ANSI escape sequences is CSI, private mode character, S, N1A, N2, trailing intermediate character, S, letter. The final byte, modified by private mode characters and trailing intermediate characters, specifies the command. The numbers are optional parameters. The default value used for omitted parameters varies with the command, but is usually 1 or 0. If trailing parameters are omitted, the trailing semicolons may also be omitted. The final byte is technically any character in the range 64 Euro 126, and may be modified with leading intermediate bytes in the range 32 to 47. The colon is the only character not a part of the general sequence. It was left for future standardization, so any sequence containing it should be ignored. Although multiple private mode characters or trailing intermediates are permitted, there are no such known usages. If there are any leading private mode characters, the main body of the sequence could theoretically contain any order of characters 0x30 or 0x3f instead of a well-formed semicolon separated list of numbers, but all known terminals are nice and just use them as a flag. Sequences are also private if the final byte is in the range 112 or Euro 126. Examples of private escape codes include the dictum shown below. It was first introduced for the VT300 series of video terminals. The existence of a CO control, DEL, or a high characters is undefined. Typically, implementations will either cancel the sequence or execute the control and then continue parsing the CSI sequence. Colors, text colors are manipulated using CSI N1. N2. M sequences, where each N1, N2, is an SGR parameter as shown above. Thus, for instance, you use codes 30 plus I to specify foreground color, 
40 plus I to specify background color, where I is the number in the desired colors column header in the table below. The following examples can be used with a PRINTF utility, where backslash X1B implements the CSI to switch the foreground color to black, use backslash X1B 30M. To switch to red, use backslash X1B 31M. Utilizing the bold parameter, gray would be backslash X1B 30M. To get bold red, use backslash X1B 31. 1M. To reset colors to their defaults, use backslash X1B, 39. 49M. There are two other color standards CSS HTML standard colors and X window colors which standardize both the color names and associated RGB color values, but the escape sequence standard only specifies the color names, not RGB values. The chart below shows default RGB assignments for some common terminal programs, together with the CSS and the X window system colors for these color names. The VGA column denotes the typical colors that are used when booting PCs and leaving them in their classical ATA, 25 text mode. The colors are different in the EGA VGA graphic modes. In July 2004, the blue colors of XTERM changed, RGB are for normal and are for bright. As of 2010, old XTERM versions still linger on many computers though. XTERM and recent enough versions of KDE's console program support ISO 8613-324 bit foreground and background color setting quoting one of the text files in its source tree. ESC, a Euro 38. 2. R. G. B, a Euro M select RGB foreground color, ESC. A Euro 48. 2. R. G. B. A Euro M select RGB background color. In 256 color mode, the color codes are the following 0x00 0x07, standard colors, 0x08 0 times 0f, high intensity colors, 0x10 minus 0xe7. 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216 colors, 16 plus 36 are plus 6G plus B, 0XE8 0XFF, grad scale from black to white in 24 steps. XTERM allows also to set the default foreground and background colors using ESC 10. Foreground bell, ESC 11. Background bell. Where foreground and background are X color specifications, and bell is the ASCII bell character. The closing bracket instead of an opening bracket reveals that it belongs to the operating system control commands. Examples, CSI2JA Euro This clears the screen and, on some devices, locates the cursor to the Y, X position 1, 1. CSI32MA Euro This makes text green. On MS-DOS, normally the green would be dark, dull green, so you may wish to enable bold with a sequence CSI1M which would make it bright green, or combined a CSI32A. 1M. MS-DOS ANSISIS uses the bold state to make the character bright. Also the blink state can be set to render the background in the bright mode. MS-DOS ANSISIS does not support SGR codes 90 Euro 97 and 100 Euro 107 directly. CSI0A. 68A. DIRA. 13PA Euro. This reassigns the key F10 to send to the keyboard buffer the string DIR, and enter, which in the DOS command line would display the contents of the current directory. This was sometimes used for ANSI bombs. This is a private use code, using a non standard extension to include a string valued parameter. Following the letter of the standard would consider the sequence to end at the letter D. CSISA Euro This saves the cursor position. Using the sequence CSI you will restore it to the position. Say the current cursor position is 7, Y, and 10, X. The sequence CSIS will save those two numbers. Now you can move to a different cursor position, such as 20, Y, and 3, X, using the sequence CSI 20A. 3 hours or CSI 20A. 3F. 
Now if you use the sequence CSIU the cursor position will return to 7, Y, and 10, X. Some terminals require the DEC sequence as ESC7 slash ESC8 instead which is more widely supported. Example of use in shell scripting, ANSI escape codes are often used in Unix and Unix-like terminals to provide syntax highlighting. For example, on compatible terminals, the following list command color codes file and directory names by type, ls, color. Users can employ escape codes in their scripts by including them as part of standard output or standard error. For example, the following set command embellishes the output of the make command by displaying lines containing words starting with ERR in reverse video and words starting with warn in bold. Make 2 and 1 set ES backslash X1B, 7M and backslash X1B, 0M IES backslash X1B, 1M and backslash X1B. 0MI. The representations of the codes are highlighted. Invalid and ambiguous sequences in use, the Linux console uses OSCPN or a GGBB to change the palette, which, if hard-coded into an application, may hang other terminals. However, a pending street will be ignored by Linux and form a proper, ignorable sequence for other terminals. On the Linux console, Certain function keys generate sequences of the form CSI, char. The CSI sequence should terminate on the old versions of Terminator generates SS31. Modifiers char when F1 a Euro F4 are pressed with modifiers. The faulty behavior was copied from GNOME terminal. Xterm replies CSI ROA. Column R if asked for cursor position and CSI 1A. Modifiers are if the F3 key is pressed with modifiers, which collide in the case of row 1. This can be avoided by using the private modifier, which will be reflected in the response. Many terminals prepend ESC to any character that is typed with the ALT key down. This creates ambiguity for uppercase letters and symbols at backslash, which would form C1 codes. Console generates SS3 modifiers char when F1 a Euro F4 are pressed with modifiers. See also, ANSI art, control character, advanced video attribute terminal assembler and recreator, ISO IEC JTC1 slash SC2, notes. External links, standard ECMA48, control functions for coded character sets, European Computer Manufacturers Association, Geneva 1991, VT100.net DEC documents, ANSISs, ANSI terminal emulation escape sequences at the Wayback Machine, XTERM slash escape sequences, A XTERM slash escape sequences, A collection of escape sequences for terminals that are vaguely compliant with ECMA48 and friends. ANSI escape sequences.